Okay, this is Dave Vellante. We're back live here, EMC World 2011, with my co-host from SiliconAngle, siliconangle.com, siliconangle.tv, John Furrier. John, amazing, another EMC <laughs> World. We got a great guest, Greg yeah. Gotts, Mr. It's, Creative here. So, so I'm psyched to have Greg on because Greg um, is a creative director. He works with Jeremy Burton, and this is the first EMC World for all the insider tech guys to know that Jeremy Burton had his hands around control. So. Uh, last year, he was technically on board. We did an interview with him, but I think he kind of came late to the party. Greg, you were then, I think, hired immediately after or during that time um, as a creative director, right, for Jeremy? Right. Um, and since have, uh, and we're going to have Jeremy on tomorrow, so we're going to, you know, say, ask, show him the highlight reel from last year where he said, we're going to start acting like a big company with marketing. Exactly. And, and we talked exactly. about consumerization of IT as a big trend that EMC is moving out of the storage and being a real enabler in this new model. And you have been pioneering the, a lot of the video and the social media stuff, so, so it's been very successful. We've been watching your work, obviously. We're doing the same thing here. Uh, we work together and we admire your stuff. So I want to talk to you about inside uh, the ropes, if you will, within EMC. And tell us about, one, what you've done over the past year because you have a guy jumping over a motorcycle jumper. You've had guys going in, um, a car. Stuffing Mini Cooper. So take us right, through right. your highlight reel, Real and then talk about what's happening here. Right. Um, well, thanks really for having me on, John and Dave. Um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, a reluctant guy in front of the camera, uh, unless I'm uh, hidden behind an Elvis wig and some big uh, silver glasses or something. But um, you know, coming out in front of the camera to talk about the sorts of things that uh, uh, EMC is doing in marketing these days, because uh, of our our visionary CMO Jeremy Burton is. Uh, something it, it uh, should probably get out and do a little more often. So. How did he become a visionary? Because he was an engineering guy at Oracle. He's just got good common sense, but uh, I'm just joking. He's a great visionary. Um, what is the coolest thing you guys are working on right now? Because you guys are doing a lot of social, doing some viral videos, but you're bringing that creative copy that was once designed for print ads and TV to a whole other level where it's an experience online the internet is connected. It's a consumer experience. We get a huge audience here on our on our network. They, there's demand, right? Well, the the, the theory is, um, why should uh, consumer companies have all the fun? You know, why shouldn't uh, B two B tech companies uh, be able to do the same kinds of uh, you know interesting, entertaining, um, you know viral sorts of stunts and and record breaking uh, uh, publicity uh, activities that are going to generate. Uh, attention for the company and and with uh, the kinds of things we do it's it's all with a purpose uh, it's a purpose of not just doing it to amuse ourselves but uh, to, to make our customers say huh, those guys are, are at least interesting maybe sometimes clever perhaps even funny uh, and if we uh, if we sort of break that uh, that little distance a barrier and, and get them to look at us and go hey those guys are actually making an effort to be entertaining uh, that that breaks the barrier and and, and brings us uh, uh, a little closer to connecting with them. So I mean, that's, it, that's it, where we connect with them in social, that's where we connect with them in uh, then, as we engage with them in, in our communities and uh, and at our conferences. So. We've had a chance to meet with Jeremy last December at EMC's headquarters and spent an hour and a half with him and it was a great conversation. But what impressed me about Jeremy was that he understood that the, the web and the internet and with mobile now is now a lifestyle and that the lifestyle programming like what we're doing here as independent um, right. uh, analysts and media company in SiliconANGLE, um, EMC needs their own. So when we did theCUBE last year, I don't think there was maybe I mean, one video crew kind of doing the normal you know, video roles. Since then, we're seeing a massive transformation of an explosion of media coming out of EMC World. Sure. So one, we're proud to do our, our, our share, but you have a massive explosion, big screen TV, big stage on top of the uh, thing, doing your own video, EMC TV. This is the new user experience. I mean, this is the new, the new literature, the new information consumption. Right. These are the new channels. And we, we're just off the starting line, by the way. I mean, we've had, uh, uh, you know, Jeremy's been here just over a year. I joined him just before EMC World last year. Uh, we've been uh, you know, making, making tweaks and additions to the team to get uh, uh, new people and process in place to generate that kind of, uh, of content and follow Jeremy's vision for, uh, for what marketing uh, can be for EMC. And a lot of what you know, um, marketing is for EMC is uh, uh, 
I'll go back to a, a previous company that I worked for with Jeremy, and when we got there, people told us uh, never underestimate how boring our customers actually are. I just I don't buy that premise yeah. at all. It's, yeah. it's uh, everyone in you know in the tech B two B space, and certainly in the storage space, uh, in the big data space, the cloud space. Uh, they're consumers first and foremost. Their day job may be you know as a cloud architect or a storage okay. admin, but they're uh, you know, first and foremost they're a consumer. They have a family. They watch TV. Uh, they watch movies. They they read eBooks. Uh, they're online constantly doing things, and the way to engage with them uh, these days is essentially you have to compete with Hollywood for their attention. So creating that kind of content um, that makes an active, actively entertaining way of digesting our content, uh, it beats a PowerPoint any day of the week. Well, we admire your work. Um Big fans of it. Obviously, we're on the same side of the street relative to the vision. It helps when you have, you know, Pat Gelsinger kind of endorsing it. He's on the Cube, and he absolutely ratified the whole social media initiative. Um, kind of poo-pooed Facebook and or Twitter. I think which one he kind of poo-pooed, but for the most part, you know, can't be 100% correct all the time. But he really acknowledged that as a direction, and the web is connected, um, so it's cool. And not a lot of companies are going there. They still do print ads and email blasts, and you know. That's, that's no way to connect. We, we, we essentially said, um, you know, if, if, uh, if there's a way to connect with, with customers, it's going to be through the places where they go hang out every day. It's going to be on Twitter. Uh, it's going to be in, in, in blogs and in uh, uh, and, and Facebook, for that matter. And so many people are on Facebook and on, and on social media sites. That's a great place as a, as, a, as a front end to engage them. And then if they're interested in something that we're doing, uh, you know, follow us down the rabbit hole and, uh, and see what truth we have to offer. You could do a reality show as well, like Chad's World. We do, we do. <laughs> so uh, part of the idea for programming, the, the wonderful thing about EMC, um, and I've worked with some great companies, with Oracle, with Microsoft, with Salesforce.com. Um, the great thing about EMC is we have all these amazing gurus uh, who are incredible technologists, they're incredibly passionate about their products, uh, and they're incredibly articulate as well. I mean, Pat Gelsinger is one of the consummate uh, professionals and speakers I've ever worked with. Jeremy, we knew he was good. Uh, Chad, Chuck, uh, we, we, we said, we're going to create content for these guys, put it out publicly facing, um, and you know, create the, the EMC TV brand and start to uh, uh, create uh, social TV, that also has a, a, a you know a more of a soft sell on the product message, so we created Chad's World about four episodes ago. Uh, we're going to stage it live at EMC World this year. Uh, don't miss it if you're here. Come and see Chad's That's, World. Uh, and there's tomorrow, free beer tonight or tomorrow. And, uh, so it, tonight? It's Wednesday at five fifteen. Wednesday before um, the concert. If right? You're, if you're watching online, definitely watch it online. It will be uh, uh, restreamed later uh, uh, at EMC.com/slash/Chad'sWorld. So there's a uh, Chad's world has just been building a great following, and Chad's always been a, a, a just one of the most uh, interesting, engaging demo guys of all time. So, why not? You know, Face Chad's melting world demos. demo time, excellent. <laughs> uh, Chuck as well, and everybody knows Chuck, and Chuck has a, a has an awesome following online. Um, Chuck has a uh, uh, you know great opinion and, and and great expertise about you know all things cloud. So. Uh, and he's, he's pulled in so many different directions at once, we said, you know, why don't we take Chuck and uh, we'll virtualize him. So we created an application that's on emc.com as well called Virtual Chuck. Ask uh, Chuck? 20 questions, ask Chuck. I think Chuck. that's taken already. And it's an interactive <laughs> app that you can uh, go ask Chuck anything you ever want to know about, about the cloud. And if we didn't answer it now, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna virtualize it a little bit more, or you can email him your question. You know, it's a lot like us. We love w watching you work because it's, you're having fun, um, and it's great. It's, it's, you're pioneering, and you're playing, and, and learning, too. It's a lot of learning. Um, you know, you double down on what works, and you kind of, you know, figure out what doesn't, you fix it, but it's okay. I mean, we're, we're doing some new things. Uh, with that in mind, what is the... What's exciting you right now? I mean, you got a lot of sandbox type media stuff, you're hacking, you're also doing high end professional production. So it's right. not hacking in the sense of low end. Right. You really got some dollars invested. Um, but what's exciting you right now? What's, what are you jazzed about the most? Uh, what's exciting me right now is just the, the, how the vision uh, of EMC has come together and how we've been able to express that in, in many ways in the media uh, that we create and, and, and give the uh, you know, company 
uh, a big, you know, entertaining media front end uh, to sit in front of this amazing family of integrated products. Um, and when you see things that we did, you know, starting um, last year with EMC World, uh, very short runway, just got started, still were able to do some, some pretty cool things. Uh, with the record breakers launch that was uh, in great. January this year, that was just that was fantastic. Way good. Jeremy said he's going to do some big things. That was big. That was big. That was and, and as we said, um, uh, there were there were a few awards that the campaign won. Uh, B two B online uh, recognized it as a uh, the best integrated uh, social media campaign of the year. Um, we had a lot of fun with that, but it made a difference in uh, the public's perception of EMC. Made a difference in the stock price. Made a difference in how are your competitors uh, responding? Huh? How are the competitors responding? Uh, obviously, you know they're looking at EMC saying, "Wow!" I mean, you up the game. As to, you know, Jeremy said he's, we got to up our game. Direct quote. You guys did. How's the competition responding? Uh, I don't think they they quite know how to respond yet, and and we're not going to wait for them to respond. We're just going to keep moving ahead, and uh, they can just keep guessing. Um, we'll keep uh, moving into. Uh, New, uh, new virtual and social spaces and new media spaces that uh, let others dare to follow. Right? We're here with Greg Gotts, who's a VP, Executive Vice President of Creative. He runs EMC TV. He works closely with Jeremy Burton. He's the man behind the curtain, behind all the creativity and all the execution around some of the great work that EMC's done, award-winning, uh, big vision, big, big data. This is EMC, big Big mojo on the on the marketing side. Congratulations! Great to uh, work with you. Look forward to collaborating with you in the future. Appreciate it, and uh, great to have you inside the cube. Thanks, John. All Thanks right. for having me on. All right.